also check it out guys, we are back with a brand new episode on the channel. My name is of course General Tony and welcome my friends to one of the final episodes ever before the Christmas update is released inside of COC guys. So first off, this base has got a crazy amount of loot guys, almost two and a half million golden elixir, one of the biggest I've ever seen. If you take a look at the top left hand side you can actually see it guys. So for anyone who doesn't know, just before we get into this attack, yesterday Supercell released the very first sneak peek inside of the COC update that's going to be coming out next week, guys. We're going to talk about that and show what it is in a few seconds. Before we do that, guys, we've only got a couple of days to max out this base, so I am going to try my very best to see if we can max out this entire base, guys, in the next week. I think we've got about one week before Supercell drops the update. So we better get a move on, because if we don't max it out guys, then we're going to be lagging behind. So I'm going to show you all my upgrades we've got in a couple of seconds. Then we're going to take a look at the new sneak peek in the game. And we've also got a brand new farming attack strategy to show you in a couple of minutes as well guys. So, let's just focus on taking down this actual base. Now in the previous episode, I told you guys if we got 2000 likes, I would give away a gold pass. Well, it didn't. It only got 1,700 likes, guys. So we didn't actually give away a gold pass inside of this episode. So I'm going to say the same thing again, guys. If the video gets... Oh, damn, we just messed that up. If the video gets 2,000 likes, I will give away two gold passes, not one, in the next episode, guys, just in time for the big Christmas update to come out into COC. So we're gonna drop down that rage spell, guys. We're gonna drop a freeze over on the single target Inferno Tower. And I think I'm gonna get the Grand Warden in because I wanna try and save the Archer Queen ability. I don't think we're gonna need to use it anyway, guys. And the Queen looks like she's doing a really good job at taking out all these buildings, guys. So, we're gonna get all the other troops in. We've already got two Super Wall Breakers anyway. Unfortunately, we are all out of free spells, so I am going to have to use the Grand Warden's ability if the Queen is in trouble, but we've only got 20 seconds. Wow, what has happened? I didn't realize, guys. I must have, um, I must have been talking for a long time. I didn't even realize we were low on time. So let's just drop in everything. Let's pop the Queen ability. We didn't even manage to grab half the loot, which really sucks. We've still got so many troops left alive, guys. But I just took too long with that actual queen walk. And we only got about 1.3 million plus a 97% bonus. So I suppose it wasn't too bad, guys. And there's a star bonus as well. So what we're going to do, we've actually got a new attack strategy. We're going to show you what it is. If we jump down the bottom, guys, this is what we're going to do to max out this base in the next couple of days. So first off, we're going to drop some gold and we're going to upgrade another wall. And now we're going to see what we've got left to upgrade, guys. 54 level 13 walls. That's all we need to do. That's it. Let me know if you are almost maxed out down below in that comment section. If you're not, let me know what town hall level you are, guys. So we are also upgrading four archer towers. But everything in the base is already maxed out, guys. So if we jump into our quick train, this is going to be my new strategy. Army number five. And it only costs 128,000 elixir, guys. So it costs 7,500 dark elixir. It is really expensive for dark elixir, but we do not need dark elixir. We've actually got over 400,000. And we've got a rune of dark elixir inside of our magic items as well, guys. So I'm not going to be using any of my elixir really i'm only using a small amount and of course we're going to be saving as much gold as possible and upgrading as many walls as quickly as we can guys so sneak peek number one no more clashmas we're going to take a look at that shortly guys but we've also got a brand new spell coming into the game the invisibility spell guys Hey Chief, we hope you're having a good start to December. The start of the month, strong. We have news to share about a brand new spell coming to Town Hall 11. And it upgrades to new levels at Town Hall 12. 
and Town Hall 13, a plethora of quality of life changes and more guys. So we're gonna go through this really quick because we need to get back to farming guys. So let's take a look at the actual new spell. What does it do? Invisibility spell renders everything under its aura invisible. The effect type is a splash, so that means it covers quite a wide area, guys. Housing space is only one, and the brewing time is three minutes, guys. So it's basically a Dark Elixir spell. It only takes up one housing space, which is amazing. We are also getting new levels to the Dark Spell Factory, which I'm presuming are because of this spell, guys. So that's cool. New level to the Expo, Giant Bomb, Air Bomb, and the Royal Champion is going up to level 25, which means we will need our Dark Elixir. So, level 25 Royal Champion, costing 295,000 Dark Elixir, guys. Seeking Air Shield ability is going to level 5, and we are also getting some game changes, war, balance changes, and gameplay. Season challenges, Supercell ID, and miscellaneous down the bottom, guys. So we're not going to go into all that. So I'm not really sure what this means, guys. We're actually going to go ahead and check out the video, but let me know down below in that comment section what you actually think about that, guys. No more Clashmas inside a COC. I think it's just like a troll video, but I'm not really too sure. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. So right now, that is the end of sneak peek number one. Do we actually have a new Christmas tree in our base yet? I can't see one, guys. I don't think we've actually got one. So I don't know if anyone's got one yet, but it's been a couple of days since that Christmas tree was actually released. So let me know down below as well. Do you have one of those brand new Christmas trees or is it not coming? I'm not really too sure. So we're going to sell that power potion and we're going to jump straight back into the next live attack, guys. So we're going to get rid of this army and then we will be returning to the Dark Elixir strategy, which I just showed you costing seven and a half thousand Dark Elixir. So I want to try and upgrade as many walls as possible, guys, by the end of the day. I'm going to try and get between six and seven walls upgraded today, guys. That's going to cost me about 30 million. So that means we need to farm up 15 million golden elixir if we're going to be able to upgrade six or seven walls a day for the next couple of days. I'm also going to drop a free spell on that defending royal champion. I tried to save the queen's ability, guys, but it didn't work. We're going to drop the expo, drop the air defense and the dark elixir drill. And I think we're probably going to have to drop another rage spell as well, guys, which is okay. So let's start with the actual full scale attack. We're going to come in with all our troops, guys, over on this side of the base. And we are going to go free, pretty much just straight on attack, straight for the town hall, I think. So let's drop that free spell down on that defending Inferno Tower. Oh, damn, there's another Inferno Tower there. Let's go with another free spell. Oh, no, we don't have any more free spells, guys. Let's just drop in our cleanup troops, poison into the core, and let's drop that Grand Warden and the Barbarian King ability, guys. So here we go. Making a move on the Town Hall. Can we take it out for that second star? We're already up to that 55%, guys. Town Hall's down. The Queen's taking out the Inferno Tower down the bottom. And now we've got a clear shot at taking out the Clan Castle as well. I'm kind of hoping there's some loot in there. The Pekka takes it down. The other scatter shot is going to get wiped out as well, guys. This Queen is an absolute beast. Taking us up to 70 plus percent, meaning we're going to get a 100% loot bonus, which is amazing. So unfortunately though, it does look like the queen is going to go down. And the king is just about taking out that final elixir storage down the bottom. And I think we're pretty good to end the raid there, guys. So, let's see what we got. 500,000 gold, 620,000 elixir. Plus, we got ourselves that bonus as well, guys. So, as I said, we're going to keep on grinding. I'm going to jump onto this Dark Elixir training strategy. 6,837 Dark Elixir. I'm sure it said 7,000 at the start of the episode, guys. But maybe I made a change. I can't remember. Anyway, hopefully it doesn't take too long to quick train. Because if you take a look at the actual time. Let's see what it says, guys. 49 minutes. And then let's take a look at the normal strategy we use, which is right there. That takes 40 minutes. So there's not really that much time difference. 
Only nine minutes, but of course, once we use the boost, that nine minutes becomes like 50 seconds, which is amazing, guys. So we're gonna be ending this episode here. All we're gonna do over the next couple of days is grind out some farming to try and max out this base in time for the next Christmas update. 